What's up guys, welcome back to the VGC channel and today I am back with the OTT decklist. So currently I've done uh, RP decklist and the uh, Nova Grabbers decklist so now I'm just going to do my OTT one. Take note that after this I'm going to upload a Kagero Overlord decklist and then after that I've been completed all the T uh, Team Q4 decklist and then I'm just waiting for the new EV01 which is Tachikaze, Spike Brothers and Mega Conley and I'll probably do a decklist on all three of them too. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. So for starter, obviously you are forced to use the Lords and Magus, which is basically Kambas 1 draw 1 is a uh, mandatory starter so yeah just alright yeah alright just draw 1 so for the great trees my friend actually runs uh, 9 yep 9 great trees so 3 imperials so he doesn't run 4 uh, imperial doctor because uh, reasons that he thinks that uh, Imperial it doesn't really need the, the second skill which is to rewrite and then plus 15k one crit is not that viable so he just runs 3 but he runs 4 CO because CO is much better can uh, get the draws and plus 5k but basically Imperial Doctor skill is when plays combo plus 1 you look at top 2 cards from, uh, from the deck put one card to more than to your hand and then put one card at the bottom and then you wrote from gate 3 this unit gains plus 15k one crit so in order for you to actually get the 15k on Q, you have to ride over a great tree, that's why he only plays 3. And then obviously, uh, Imperial Doctor has to protect uh, Imagine Gift. And then the other skill is once per turn, you may soul blast 1, choose 1 of your units plus 6k. So 3 of Imperials. And then 4 CEO, so CEO is best will be your first target right, uh, which is when you ride into Gitchu, you obviously want to ride into CEO of uh, Amaterasu first. Skill is Kambas 1, draw a card, read a top card of your deck and put it at the top or the bottom of your deck and then when you look at your deck due to effects during your turn this unit gains 5k so it activates every time you look, review or search uh, and then it, it, can't, it can stack but let's just say for CO Armatory Rescue it says come on, draw a card and load a top card of your deck put it on the bottom so that activates once and then it's a Vanguard Rearguard skill so you can activate it on the Rearguard if you call CO Armatory Rescue to the Rearguard and then you can uh, use your card effect skill to load at the top of the deck in which I'll get to later some cards are able to load at the top of your deck and then you de can decide to put it at the top or the bottom Alright, so moving on uh, from the four CEOs we have last but not least the two Victorious there so Victorious Day is a two off only because it is not your ideal right target, it's supposed to be your finisher. Skill is Soul Blast 2 Great Trees uh, and discard a card from your hand. Look at top 7 uh, cards from the top of your deck and reveal 2 crits from around them and then stack the 2 crits on top of your deck and then put the rest of the 5 cards, yeah, 5 cards back to the bottom, shuffle and then choose 6 of your units and they get all gain 10k. So it's kind of like your finisher, it guarantees you, guarantees you get the 2 crits from your deck so obviously this will be not your ideal great 3 to write it will be your finisher so moving on to the great 2's great 2's are pretty standard uh, my friend plays uh, 11 great 2's, yep, correct so 11 great 2's, uh, first off we have 4 promise daughters so this card is basically to fuck around with Kagero because the first skill is Vanguard Rear Guard if you have 4 card hand size uh, or more this unit gains 6k when attacking and then this the other skill is continuous rear guard or uh, guardian circle this unit cannot be retired due to your opponent card effects but it still can be chosen but basically it's just to fuck around with Kagero uh, Kagero can't retire from his daughter you only can attack it so against Kagero most of the time people will just guard for from his daughter because yeah of the second skill Moving on to the other great tools which is 4 sign top, obviously this should be a 4 off, it's like kind of a no-brainer. Skill when plays, count plus 1, uh, sign top gains 6k, so it's only on play skill, take note. And then Vanguard Rearguard skill is, during the battle that this unit attack a Vanguard, your opponent cannot call normal units to Guardian Circle from hand. So this is what makes the Ichikishima and sign top combo in Demon Dead so fucked up now because when you think about it, Ichikishima cannot guard G Guardians or Great Zeros and then sign top cannot guard normal units. Basically, your opponent cannot call anything uh, from their head. Can't even jig up because of the shield. So it's a confirm or confirm hits. So four off in this deck, even though it's a standard, but it's still four off. And last but not least, three Satoru Hime, goddess of inside Satoru Hime uh, skill. When it attacks a Vanguard, call plus one, draw a card, discard a card from your hand, and then you just gain six k. And then if your Vanguard is great three or greater, you can look at the top of your deck, and then you may place it at the top or bottom. So basically. Take note that this skill only activates when it attacks the Vanguard then it gains 6k. If not, if you attack a Vanguard, it, you can't proc the skill at all because it doesn't work. And then you must have a great tree in order to look at the top of your card, uh, top of your deck, and then place it at the top or the bottom. So 3 of Satoru Hime. 
So moving on, so that's 11 grade 1. So now, uh, 11 grade 2, sorry. Now we go on to the grade 1. So the grade 1s, my friend runs 14, if I'm not wrong, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, sorry, 13 grade 1s. <laughs> Alright, so uh, first we have Circle Mega, it's a no-brainer, so 4 off because of the skill. Circle Mega skill is when this unit is ridden upon, you may combat one, draw one. And then the second skill is whenever your drive check is a grade 2 or greater card, you may put that card to the bottom of your deck and then you draw another card. So basically, it guarantees you to draw another card if you don't like uh, the card. Like you want more shield value, you drive check into a grade 3, you want the shield value to guard against your opponent from next turn, you may just put it at the bottom of your deck, draw another card. Yep, so you increase the cards that your opponent don't know because you, you know you drive check your opponent will see what cards you have. Oops, let's hit the can. But yeah, okay. Moving on to fair fail mega. So, uh, fair fail, uh, fair fale mega, whatever it's called. Basically, the skill is very simple. On place, check the top card of that, put it on top or the bottom, right? So, uh, it pops with our COR material too, as I said. So you can just call it a look at the top card. When they place it at the top or the bottom is your choice, and then uh, see our Temasu skill or prop, which is every time you look at the top of your deck, you may plus five k to this unit. So three off, followed by four Gemini. So obviously you need to run four Gemini because that's the only counter charging power you actually have in the deck other than huge triggers. But skill is at you may just boot this card into your soul if you have three or more cards in your deck. So make sure that you have three or more in order to counter charge. And then you may just count charge one. Basically, that's the skill. So four off because sometimes uh, decks uh, such as Kagiro or uh, uh, RP or maybe Nova want to limit your counter blast so that when you ride the great tree, you, you can't use Imperial Daughter skill, you can't use CR Material skill or whatever. You just use Gemini skill if you have three or more damage. It's much simpler. And then last but not least, we have two uh, Mizunohame, Goddess of the Thai of Times Mizunohame. So the skill is when you boost a Venga, you have three or more cards in your damage zone. This unit gains 6k, so it's actually a 14k booster, which is really good. Uh, my friend only plays two, which is good because it's not really that important because it only can be placed behind the Venga. When you boost a Venga, then it gains the extra 6k. If not, it's just an 8k booster for one of your regards. And then last but not least, we have the trigger. So the trigger is pretty simple. He plays four uh, weather forecast miss miss. So that's your Kanzen, your perfect guts. Uh, four of these uh, beautiful crits. Yeah, the crits is called uh, Nike Oracle Guardian Nike. <laughs> that's actually quite ironic. So the brand Nike and then Psychic Bird, obviously uh, got reprinted into a trigger with no skill, obviously. And then last but not least, we have Sphere Megas, which is your heal trigger. So. That's basically so eight crits, four draws, and uh, eight, eight, yeah, eight crits, four draws, and four heals. So that's about it, guys. Hope you guys like this that uh, recipe of my friends, uh, Oracle Think Tank, and obviously you have your protect. So ideally, you want to have at least at least three, I would say, because most sometimes you won't uh, you won't have the chance to use your protects, and you just keep running to get you great you great trees to just keep getting protects uh, to prepare for your opponent's turn, and then take note that. Protect is considered a sentinel, so against cards like Waterfall, you cannot call Protect from your hand to the Guardian Circle because it's Waterfall skill states that you cannot call sentinels from, from uh, to Guardian Circle from your hand. So that's about it guys, thank you very much for watching, hope you guys like this kind of content. Be sure to check out my Kagiro uh, overlap deck list where I'm going to post after this video. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, hope you guys like it, like, comment, subscribe, this is VGCI and I'm out. Peace.